So what is your um research do? Some people will just say things and some people say they are not even sweet um, bread in Canada. Let me tell you, I've done customer Hi besties, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, I look different. See. I came with some wigs from Nigeria and this is the first time I'm rocking this one and I'm like, I'm going to kill it <laughs> before I eventually change to another wig, you know. So today we're going to talk about, I have been seeing a couple of videos. You know me now, I'll come here and tell you the truth. I've been seeing a couple of videos um, about skills you need to learn before you come to Canada. Learn these skills. Once you have these skills, you're going to get a job in Canada. Oh, and don't mind my partner here. It's my baby's stuffed animal um learn these skills if you want to come to canada you want to get these skills i even saw one the one that pained me the most is that the person said if you learn these skills you can actually get six figure jobs i'm like <laughs> okay i have a list of some of them right you know i always have my book when i want to get serious i have a list of some of them i will tell you the ones i agree with and what i'm like and what i'm like guy why are you saying this now and something some, something about this video but what i'll be doing today is i'll be listing what they are mentioning and tell you the one that i think there's no point right except you have you've been here for a while and you have a clientele then this is the way first of all makeup see don't deceive yourself don't go and before you come to canada go and do crash course in makeup because you want to come here and make money of makeup for makeup see there are people um there's this lady that i think la is that her name um that total local solution patronizes she does makeup she's not only really based in canada i think i'm not sure but she has a clientele she has a what a clientele so not just you know go and do crash course six months program in um one beauty school in 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 ikeja day and learn makeup and come here and go and spend thousands of money in makeup products and come here and think that um winter nobody is doing makeup nobody is doing makeup in the winter see myself which makeup do you see on my face like this is not a party friendly climate aside from party friendly climate this is not a place where people um go to parties often right and even the parties here except the nigerian parties which are very which are not as Okay, let me even speak for Waterloo because Toronto, I, I know they have some parties in Toronto, but even in Toronto, go, how many parties have you gone to in the last in the last three weeks? How many parties? Unlike in Nigeria and Lagos, where you go to back to back events and you know. So I have I even have someone that was even advised by somebody in Canada here that she should go and learn makeup. And she did learn makeup and she did spend a lot of money in makeup products. And now she came here, she's regretting why she did that, you know, and she actually spent money learning that. I'm like, you can learn it for your personal gain and Maybe when there are occasions, you can help people do their makeup and all of that. But that should not be your primary source of income, except you're extremely good and extra, except you have a clientele and it's going to grow over time. It's not something that, boom, you're going to use to pay your rent as you come. Boom, you're going to use to pay your internet as you come. No. So scrap it. Scrap that idea. Secondly, secondly, catering. <laughs> if you don't know let me tell you see this is our belly when they say the belly is the heart of a man i don't think that's true someone has casted me that been, i've been turning proverbs also there i agree i concur but they say the the way to the man's heart is through the belly i think i got it this time around it's true it's not just a man a woman too there are a lot of people here in canada because getting this thing from an african store to process and cook all these vegetables and all of that it's quite expensive it's quite pricey and um a lot of people patronize people that do bulk cooking of soups bulk cooking of stew party rice all of that people don't really throw parties but they have like indoor events maybe their children is, uh, is hosting a birthday party or in the office they ask for potluck or um or something or their anniversaries all these mini mini events it's not the event that you do make up <laughs> let's scrap that part is events that people eat right you know some people just people i have friends that are into these businesses and they are thriving this is their core business they cook food they start by communicating it to their church members they start by whatever nigerian group they are in saying that oh i make um soups and stews you know when you're starting you can make your price affordable because 
you're coming with this stuff from Nigeria, right? You can make your price affordable. Once you now start getting the clientele, you can decide to pop up your price a bit. Get, making the price affordable is to get people, to get the buying of people. So catering and food, catering and cooking, hmm, forget it. You will make your money. So if you can cook very well, if you know that your foods are tasty, or if you know that you want to go and learn it before coming, thumbs up. If you know that YouTube, YouTube now, you can learn anything on YouTube. YouTube now is the way. If you know that you want to learn on YouTube before coming, or even when you come, you start learning, great. Then small chops, you know, all these other um, pastries. Yes, please do it. Please, 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 please do it. I have a woman that does it in my church, and she sells out every single time. Like, even if she has some outstanding after church, it's just a few pieces of meat pie. Nigerians are belonging to it this thing. So when you bring it to their doorstep, and she sells it like $4, $5, it's affordable, right? So see pastries, chin chin, or is there anything that will go in through this or so far goes, what is truth? Anyone? Just do it. People will buy it, right? People, people will patronize you. If you can bake cake, Nigerians have a different way we bake cake, right? Don't go and let Pakulolo cake go or Pakulolo cake and think that you've learned it. Because there are cakes here in Canada. There are some sweets. And somebody told, I watched one video and they said there are no sweet cakes in Canada. I'm like, eh? <laughs> some people will just say things. And some people say there are no even sweet um, bread in Canada. Yes, they have their normal white bread. But have you eaten brioche bread? Brioche bread is better than Nigerian bread, to be honest. Sometimes when my husband buys this Nigerian bread, um, matlock bread, thumbs up to you. And he buys brioche bread. The brioche bread they finish before the agege bread you know so <laughs> i don't know what they're talking about to be honest just if you're not sure of something if you're uncertain about something don't just push the narrative so if you can bake if you can bake hmm. i don't know if you know this lady on instagram gourmet twist do you see the one that she's doing in the, is the u.s or uk i don't know i know she's not in canada Sha. i think it's in the u.s if you do is u.s do you see the one that she's doing there she started from her kitchen she was baking batch and batch of bread coconut bread banana bread and i was if you watch my videos from when i was in gt bank i used to buy her bread like crazy i buy her bread even my office people know now i will order rice and chicken from my office people will eat her food is tasty to the tea tasty to the tea i love good food don't forget i used to order her sometimes her turkey sometimes ah, she's very good this baby's in us now if it's, she has actually gotten a big kitchen so that's why i'm saying that you cannot go wrong with food especially when you're doing it right so see catering oh i'm not i like to cook but i don't like to slay when i say slave away in the kitchen it's not my forte so i can just cook for my immediate family learn how to do one or two things but let's say big cooking or a uh, big no 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 i don't know how to do that because i grew up in a small family so i'll go and i'll go and add what i'm not supposed to add or something will be less so i don't know how to cook big pot of soups or big pot of stews and all of that but if i had that skill and if i had the patience to be in the kitchen for a long time I'm gonna do it too because last last in this Canada, if you want to make money, it's business too. All these things they are telling you about uh, UIUX is <laughs> business. If you want to make money in this Canada, in the abroad, just go towards business. I will be sharing that later in the video. So, like I said, catering, yes, thumbs up for catering. Then driving. Hmm. Once I get my car, before I once I close, before I get home, I will do one or two trips of Uber. I'm telling you the truth, guys. I am telling you the gospel truth because what are you basically doing? Your hands are on the steering and you're just driving. You're picking up and you're dropping off. So, you know, so once I get my car, guys, before I even go to work in the morning, okay, it might not be possible. <laughs> on my way back from work, I will do one or two trips, so, you know, close ranges of Uber. Weekends, when I've settled everybody, my husband and I child, I've settled everybody, I will do one. If you see the ladies that are doing Uber in Canada, <laughs> if you see the caliber of ladies that are doing Uber in Canada, <laughs> uber in canada here it will shock you so like i said see uber hmm, uber is not making people are, that are driving uber are not making as much as they used to make before because because a lot of people are now into the market you know a lot of people are now into the market not everybody can drive not everybody owns a car getting the bus is stressful so there are so many factors that will make people lean towards getting uber and uber is not cheap it's very expensive right so um uber yes Uber is good. Once you learn how to drive and you have a car here, good. Then truck driving. Hmm. See all of you that used to insult truck drivers in Nigeria. Once they come here and get their license, in, they are bigger than you. If you don't know, now you know. Truck drivers here are building houses. Truck drivers here are, are making waves. 
So if you think that there are some jobs here that would make your jaw drop because back home in your home country, you were like looking down on those people. But here, <laughs> they are big boys and big girls. So um, truck driving, yes. Truck driving, yes. Once you have the license and you can do interstate driving, so forget it. You're making money. So hairdressing and barbing. There's a pause there. Now, hairdressing is great, um, but <laughs> hairdressing and barbing, I'll put a bot there because for school children, yes, if you, if you get a community where um, there are school children that, you know, Nigerian school children or African school children that will make their hair for, you know, great, 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 great. But the thing is, a lot of people already have people that do these things for them, right? Um, so taking those people off those, I don't know, everybody, there's, there's, the sky is too big for everybody to, oh God, the sky is big for everybody to fly. <laughs> but my point is, hairdressing and barbing cannot, I will not say cannot give you that substantial living. I will just say it can be a side hustle for you. Because now a lot of mothers can make their children's hair and ladies these days uh look at me now more weak so it's not it's not a it's not i saw one, one video of one lady that was saying that ah <laughs> in this same kind of videos one lady was saying that in fact all back is 50 dollars this one that one she's in canada here in fact if you do like 10 all backs a day you will get like i'm like okay where would you get this 10 all backs a day i have a a man that is because every day is always posting in the group chat that he babs her he babs her he babs her he babs her i'm like if this guy is busy, he's not going to be posting <laughs> that he babs here, he babs here. You don't have a shop. You're a mobile baba. People will come to you or you go to them. So it's not it's not just, it's not as as people are assuming that, oh, once you can play tear and once you can bab here. Mm, mm. Except you're like that lady that likes to do like this on, on Instagram and TikTok. She's extremely good and people come to her. She doesn't go to them. People come to her to make her, you know, so... And she's she's extremely good. That one I gave it to her. So I know she's making serious money from there. So yeah, you can do it when you can now decide to leave your main job when you've gotten a client, a huge clientele for the for your hairdressing um hustle. But don't just come and say that's that's what you're gonna focus on. If you do one all back fifty dollar for one weekend, is it fifty dollar that will sustain you for the next two weeks before you get one another all back? Repeat. So please leave those guys. <laughs> Taylor and seamstress. There's Komadia. Why would I tell you there's Komadia? See, Nigerians, we don't like to patronize our own. Mm. Mm. If you didn't hear it, hear it now. Mm. If you don't hear it, let me tell you. See, Nigeria. Seamstress. I know people that are importing, sold, like they send their measurements to Nigeria. They will sew the cloth and they will ship it down to Canada. I know a lot of people that are doing that. In fact, I know people that <laughs> that rather order for ready-made um, um, sewn items from Nigeria to Canada than buy material and go and look for a tailor in Canada here yeah, that will sew it for you. Since I've been I've been here since February, I have not had any need to go and look for material and tell somebody to sew clothes for me. So don't let them deceive you and tell you go and learn tailoring. Go and learn tailoring. <laughs> you know. <laughs> No jokes, but no, that one I would not tell you that you know. You see, then handyman jobs, plumbing, electricians, mechanics, vulcanizers, thumbs up, yes. If you're a man and you maybe that, that was your main job in Nigeria, or you have a flair for fixing cars or fixing generate no don't generator, no generator yet. <laughs> fixing cars, or you're very handy with plumbing stuff. If you can enhance your skill. And better still, even get a license in here. Perfect. There's serious money in it. And even if you don't have licensing, just make it known in whatever groups you are that you, um, just that your fees will not be as high as someone that has licensing, right? Um, a lot of these things go bad. And unfortunately, in Nigeria, we don't, it's not a DIY country. We don't know how to fix these things. So people look for these people, especially when their services are not so expensive. And if you're one of them, they will definitely reach out to you. I know some people that um, 
have reached out in the group that oh they have issues with their plumbing um they need someone who can fix and all of that so if you have that skill thumbs up still back on driving if you can teach people how to drive <laughs> there's this guy in my group he's a guru in fact i told myself when i want to learn how to drive i'm gonna reach out to him do you know how much he charges he charges for sometimes as as much as 500 dollars to teach you how to drive to teach you how to drive and He's very good at it. He, the success rate, every time he teaches everybody, they come back and say, oh, they pass their driving test, they pass their driving test. And he's making money off it. And that is not his core job, guys. That is not his core job. So if you are very good at driving and you can teach people how to drive, please, that one will get you money. Because in here, people are actually trying to learn how to drive the Canadian way. And it's not just to teach people how to drive the kind of Nigerian drive, you know. I mean, Canadian drive. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to come here learn how to drive the canadian way of driving the road signs and everything before you can now teach people how to drive so he's so good at it because the success rates has just been crazy right so if you can teach people how to drive yes thumbs up you're gonna get a good you know cha-ching then um i saw someone put video that if you can learn customer service if you can learn customer service it's guaranteed you get a good job i'm like brother man brother man brought the man customer service see there are just skills that you need to be a good customer service person you have to be empathetic let me tell you i've done customer service nigeria customer service and canadian customer service you have to be empathetic you have to have good communication skills you have to be able to listen and go to direct with customers you should be able to um you should be fast with typing because most of the customer service if it's not in person usually on the phone and you need to document all your calls you have to um, have good command of English and your and little errors, you know. So these are just the things that then understand the product and obviously the service you're trying to render. So that's just the basic thing. There is no go and learn a certification in customer service. Don't 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 bother yourself. Customer service here is high school graduates. If you have not checked the job description, <laughs> if you have looked for a customer service job in Canada. And you didn't bother searching the job description. I repeat, go back and check the, the job description. You will see there, what they need is a high school graduate, someone who is fluent in English, good command of English, blah, blah, blah. Except maybe in a bank or some other places where they might need a, a graduate. But they don't need graduates for, for, for customer service. In fact, they don't need any certification for customer service. Once you are good, speaking good English and all of these things I just mentioned here, you're going to get a customer service job as long as you do well in the interviews because customer service is based on the interviews and your mock trials because you're going to they're going to do like um a pseudo call with you you know fake as if they are the customers and once you pass that she can add us it so don't go don't and burn your money and say you're doing certification and see go on uh, linkedin learning or um or even on youtube i even have a video <laughs> about my customer service experience or you go on udemy you will see certain videos that you can actually just watch and listen to that can help you if you want to really get more insights into customer service don't don't go and spend i beg leave these youtubers then um i want to talk about schools that um tools that can help you while and things that you can put on your resume that can help you in getting maybe one of those your jobs that you want to get maybe business analysis or all of that you have to be proficient in certain um even not even getting the job while you get the job things that would help you stand out you know all this your yeah, sql power bi if you're good even the the minimum microsoft excel and word once you're good with doing all of that using your google applications very well forget it you know you will stand out at the place of work and people who are career driven go for this certification so that they can excel so that they can get promoted and they can get higher paying jobs Another thing about um, Canada jobs is there's no loyalty anywhere. See, they easily fire people. So as you're in one particular job, right, don't tie your loyalty there because it's it's easier to get a higher paying job, a, a higher pay by switching careers. Sorry, not careers. It's easier to get a higher pay by switching companies than getting promoted in that same company, right? Um, so I think that's all for the video. I just want to explain to you that it's not all rosy like once you get these things once you watch these videos and they say oh go and do this go and do that you come here and make all the money work has to be done intensive work has to be put into it deliberation has to be there 
um and the god factor has to be this everybody's story is different so there's no generic thing to say okay once you do this once you do this is casting stone that you're gonna get it every move you want to take pray about it don't let these people deceive you and tell you that it's guaranteed because there's even one that the lady said for sure for sure i'm like for sure for sure for sure <laughs> um i made your girl spells if you have comments about these jobs if you're um but don't let me discourage you uh if you want to take certifications please take certification all right thank you so much again bye bye